Now I want to give you a quick tutorial on how to use this app, um, Tiny Scanner. So I sent you an email uh, requesting that you download this app. I don't know if you have an iPhone um, and how many platforms it's available across, but I think you should all have success in downloading this app. It's really useful for digitizing any written work so you can upload it to uh, the Google Drive for all your assignments. So here it is, Tiny Scanner. I have it in a folder labeled Office, but uh, you can put it anywhere you want on your phone. Okay, so it's ready to make a scan. So all you have to do is hit this plus button. So we're adding a new document, and now it wants to take a photo of a file. So here's a file that I can use. This is from the, an AP exam. This is actually a good problem for you to solve in our first unit of study. This is a kinematics problem about somebody running a 100 meter dash. Anyway, all I need to do is snap a picture of it while I'm in the Tiny Scanner app. So let's see what it does. Okay, so now I just have to hit this arrow and it takes me to the next step. And notice what it's done. It automatically found the corners of the document. Now, it, sometimes that might be off, and so you might have to drag a corner and realign it, but more often than not, it's gonna find the corners of the page. So uh, you're not taking a picture of both your desktop and the paper, you're only taking a picture of the paper that you're trying to make a document out of. So we like that, we'll say done. Okay, now here's the key, this is why I wanna provide this video to um, keep you from making a mistake. Notice on the bottom left, it shows what looks like some sort of symbol for black and white documents, so that's good. But let's look at what all the options are. Here's where I see some mistakes. Um, I think there's a way to go into the settings in this app and choose to always make it a black and white PDF. But the mistake I've seen some students make is they have a setting where it's making it a black and white photograph. Now the problem with that is the areas of the page that are just blank, that should be white, uh, will appear slightly gray and it's actually taking up memory for this file to know that that should appear a little bit gray. So if you choose, this option is gonna be a color photograph. Notice that I'd written in uh, red when I made my solution to this problem. So you can see the red now. If I make it a color PDF, okay, now the areas that are white truly are just blank when it comes to stored memory. So this is only gonna be a small number of kilobytes at most compared to the number of megabytes it might be for a color photograph or even a black and white photograph. So black and white's the way to go, but not photograph. We want to make sure it's a black and white PDF. In that case, all your files will be very small and you can upload them easily to your Google Drive. So we'll click save. We have the correct file format. Uh, I think it automatically names it by the date, but if we click here, we can rename this. Let's call it practice problem. Well, we'll just call it practice for now, okay? So then we'll hit done. And if we want to uh, add this to our Google Drive account, we can go to more and notice there's an icon to immediately save it into Google Drive. You can save it uh, into a Dropbox account if you want or in your own files and from there upload it later into Google Drive. But uh, there you have a quick tutorial on how to use the app Tiny Scanner.